Meanwhile, in the hallway of Sadie's house, Maddie was with Clara, complaining about Sadie's insensitivity. Can you believe the nerve of her? Honestly, how could she not know this was wrong? She was clearly in the wrong. Like, honestly, the girl needs to stay in her lane sometimes. And if she can't do that for herself, well then, I'll do it for her. Maddie proceeded to swiftly and angrily grab her phone from the table. Let's just see if this puts her back in her place. Clara looked on as Maddie fiercely tapped away at her phone screen. Um, Maddie, Clara said nervously, are you sure you should be typing that and putting that stuff out there? That's really personal. Maddie huffed and looked at Felicia. Honestly, Felicia, it's not even like it's that big of a deal. I'm not typing her name in there or tagging her in it. I doubt she'll even look at this page. Besides, she can't prove I submitted any of her secrets. It could be anyone. The most this will do is just make her think twice. Claire glanced up from the nasty things Maddie was typing. First of all, Maddie, you called me Felicia. I'm not your little sister. Secondly, do you think it's your place to make her think twice? I mean, half of the stuff you're submitting isn't even true. Maddie rolled her eyes at Clara. Clearly that poor girl is not picking up what she was putting down. Look, I'm sorry. I'm quite angry right now and I can't think straight. And it's not like what I'm submitting isn't based on the truth, she explained. It's just that some of it may be a wee bit exaggerated. It's not my fault if I have a creative mind. Maddie just proceeded to shrug it off and shrug off the rest of Clara's concerns. This was strictly between Sadie and Maddie. Eventually, Clara gave up on trying to persuade Maddie differently, and Sadie came back out to see if the girl still wanted to hang out. Well, we should just